In this video, we're going to be highlighting the new hierarchical design feature that was implemented in version 7. This is one of the big new features in version 7. How does it work? In this test schematic, I've already defined a single module, which I call attenuator. So using the module command, I can bring it in. I can say OK. And I've brought in one instance. I can bring in as many instances as I want. They're all exactly the same. Now, what is this attenuator? Well, if we look, it's a simple little resistor divider. And I've created three, na three nets in it. There's an input net, there's an output net, and a ground net. Currently, none of the modules expose those nets. So here we have a layer of separation. Basically, within the module, all of the names keep that scope. They don't extend to a higher level of hierarchy. If we want them to extend, then we have to add ports to our module. And that's very easily done using the port command. Click on port. I click on the module. I select the location. And I p can pick either an existing net or I can create new ones. And we'll talk about that in a second. So here I have an in. I'm also going to put this one here and out. And I'm going to put ground here. Okay, and you'll notice that all of the all of the modules I had already placed also got the ports. They updated automatically. And all of these are identical. So immediately you can see that there's the advantage of design reuse. Now additionally we can specify the directions to make the schematic even clearer. Using the info command if we hold control and left click on the pins, we can change their direction and I clicked on the wrong one. Here we go, we're going to put this as an input. Say OK. This will be an output. This will be a power pin. So it's immediately apparent for, for the purposes of reuse how beneficial this hierarchy can be. Now, for collaborative work, it also has an advantage because we can create a module without having any internal circuitry ready for it yet. So for example, I click on module and I'll create uh, a module I call amplifier and I can give it a prefix that way we don't see the full name. I'll call this uh, G for example gain stage. Say create new module, we say yes and I can place it. Now notice that right now we don't have any circuitry in this module. It's completely blank. However, using the port command, I can define the ports that I want to have on this module. So I can click here, and we see that we have nothing there, but I can put, create a new one, input, put one over here, out, plus, plus 20 dB. And we can put another ground here. It's just an exa a simple example. Now what have we really done here? What's the benefit of defining these nets beforehand before there's even any circuitry for it? Well, the advantage here is that you can plan out your system at a block level and then spread the work out among the various engineers. So the system integrator, the engineer who's responsible for putting everything together, he isn't necessarily concerned with what's within these modules. He just wants to make sure that the inputs meet a certain specification and that the outputs meet a certain specification. And by setting up the blocks beforehand, he can give the engineer an idea of what the inputs are going to be to his part of the circuit and what outputs are necessary from his part of the circuit. And that allows him or her to easily plan out a large complex design. And again, we can, using the control key, change the direction of the various ports. So this is one of the very powerful features that was introduced in version 7. And it's going to be very useful for planning out large designs. Currently, the hierarchy is limited only to the schematic. In other words, these blocks don't have an equivalent on the board side, but it's something we're looking towards the future for. Thank you very much for your time.